welcome everyone in our today's video we are going to learn how to install dual boot operating system in your laptop basically we are going to learn installing ubuntu 20.04 in our desktop or laptop so let's start the video in step 1 we will download the installation media which suits your system like if you have 64 bit uh, amd you need to download the AMD version if you, if you have Intel processor in case you need to download the Intel version then create a bootable USB then boot your Ubuntu in step 4 run Ubuntu installation and follow the installation steps this way we will do our installation so let's begin first go to your browser then type Ubuntu 64 bit download I am downloading for AMD, so I am typing AMD64. If you have Intel, type Ubuntu, uh, Ubuntu 64 bit for Intel. It will directly, yes, you have option you see, uh, there is Ubuntu.com directly downloading from Ubuntu website. This is the updated version and latest version of Ubuntu 20.0. We are going to install this. My system is having AMD 64 bit so I will download suitable version for this this is the version we are going to download uh, by clicking on this option on right hand side you can download the image file so download already begun wait for some time it will take around half an hour is based on your system internet speed basically so let's wait for some time let the download finish Meanwhile, we can go to our my computer and sync some volume for installation space. Let's see how to do it. To our computer, my computer, and right click and go to manage option. Where we need to allocate some space for the Ubuntu system. If you have already allocated space during Windows installation, that will be good. Otherwise, you need to sync some volume from a drive. It's taking some time. Yeah. This is my storage. So I have already 29.30 GB unallocated. If you don't have, you can sync in such a manner. I'm showing in the video. much volume you need you just type and press on sync it will sync required volume from your drive where you can install your Ubuntu system let's go to the step 2 where we will create a bootable pen drive for installing Ubuntu this is the software do first so we are using the software for creating a bootable drive you can directly download the software if you don't have you can download it from here this is the latest version 3.11 you can download and easily you can make a bootable drive from it this software is very useful you can use First you need to select the device Then boot selection from iOS I am selecting Select the iOS file from the select option Select the iOS image and select press OK
that is ready just press start to make the render bootable showing the warning to delete all your data data if you have so before doing a bootable drive you must empty your pen drive or use your tokens or copy to another drive so that you can make a bootable disk after making the disk only the bootable OS will be on the tape pen drive so be careful about this so we are starting the bootable pen drive which is the size that we want to start with Go to the boot option by pressing the F10 or delete depending on the system. Go to the boot options, select the bootable USB pen drive. Save the changes. Yeah, phone 2 is booting now. After checking disk, it will start the installation process. This is the main installation screen of Ubuntu. Now follow the steps. This is the first screen. Press install Ubuntu for start and press installation on your system. Now select your language. Now follow the steps and give Accordingly, you can press the button, normal installation, press continue. Now, we have two options here, it is the disk, Ubuntu or something else. If you want to create a dual boot, you have to select something else. So, we are creating a dual boot system, so we are using something else and press continue. It will show the drives of your system where you can install your Ubuntu. These are the Windows drives and TFS, all the Windows disk drives. So we have free space here. We have to select the free space and we have to create a fresh partition for swap, boot, and root. So I'm first selecting the swap. You can give 5000. Yeah. For creating partition actually, there is a plus and minus option and change option is there. For creating you need to press the plus option and minus for deleting. Now we are creating a boot, you can give 1000 MB, yeah, now root part, select the root and give the log Partition is logical and end of the space. Now all these three drives partition has been created and press on install and continue to start installation.
select your time zone here sir. now press continue here you need to type your name computer name user id and pick nick nickname and password for login now press continue is copying file for installation it will take some time meanwhile you follow the steps basically ubuntu will take 15 minutes time to install we are almost done yeah installation complete message is here now you have to press the restart now option from here your system will restart now select ubuntu from the list we have reached the end part of this video we have successfully installed the ubuntu operating system this is the login screen where you can give your password and log on to ubuntu system let's give your password let's give us our password now after first installation you may get note notice like this you can set uh, set up this uh, live patch or skip it this is how ubuntu 2020 looks like okay we are skipping it this is the best ubuntu desktop ever built by ubuntu i suggest everyone must use it please like subscribe and share our video and visit our website for latest update.